Good morning, dear friends. Uh, we are beginning this Mass of Friday, the ninth week in ordinary time. Today is the memorial of St. Boniface. In this Mass, we continue to pray for each other. We pray for all those who have asked our prayers at this time. But we also ask God's grace for our country and for our people. We pray in this Mass for those who are sick. Pray for those who have died. Pray for those who have lost their jobs. Pray for those who are struggling. Pray for those who feel forgotten. May God help meet every of our needs. Our opening hymn for today's Mass is Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven on earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here are the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven on earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of our Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I offer this Mass for the sick here in the hospital. I offer this Mass for all those struggling under the weight of religious intolerance. I offer this Mass for all those who are oppressed, especially those who do not have Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I offer this Mass for the healing of this nation. We call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and wisdom. You we are saying to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We give to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us always, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the matter sent Boniface. Be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things, the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, 
deceivers and deceived. But you, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed. Because you know from whom you learned it. And that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reputation, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So that one who believes, so, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, o Lord great, great peace have they who love, who love your law. law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace it have they who love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, o Lord great, great peace, peace have they who love, love your law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands firm in awe of your word. O Lord, Lord great peace, peace have they who love your the law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, Lord great, great peace have they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, Lord great, great peace have they who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, Lord great, great peace, peace have they who love your law. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said. How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear people of God, good morning. Uh, from wherever you are listening, particularly here in World Read, this is a very wonderful day in which I pray for your healing and for your strength and as I do this I want to reflect here around the theme who is Jesus who is Jesus we see
see here the identity of Jesus Christ is raised by no other person than himself. Who is he? He's trying to let the people understand who is he. Because this was necessary because of all the grumblings and complaints and everything that was going on and around. They were trying to find out who is this person, Jesus Christ. For so many times and for so many reasons, they were looking for a way to actually perpetuate hatred, malice, and everything against him. And so many things, so many factors were responsible. They were jealous of him. But over and above, if you put everything together, part of it was Jesus was acting as though, according to them, he was the Messiah, the one to deliver them. So, as this rumor is going on, they are placing him like, hey, this is son of David. And if he's son of David, they are limiting him. This is son of man. If he is son of man, how can he be the Messiah? How can he be the Messiah? And Jesus Christ is using this. Now, quoting one of what David himself said in Psalm 110, the Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. Is what he is quoting right here. So, who is this Jesus Christ? Is it possible that Jesus Christ could be both God and both man? At this point, they were really struggling with it. Struggling with it. They were struggling because they could not bear to see him be the Messiah. Their eyes were crowded with this jealousy. But he is telling them, like, when we follow, he says, like, yes, I am about my father's business. That yeah, even though I may be by birth son of Mary from the line of David, yes, by origin, I am son of God. Do you believe this? They struggled with it. But you hearing me, do you believe this? And that brings us to the feast we celebrate today. Boniface knew this. He had it. In the 7th century from England, he went to Germany as a missionary. Extra. And when he went there, these people had a big, big deity. The deity was called Nos. And it was in the form of a big tree. Big tree. They went there, offered sacrifices and prayed to this Nos God. Whatever it was. So, Boniface went trying to challenge them and preach to them that, yes, no, there is only one God, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit. And inspired by this, took his shirt off, took an axe, and cut that tree down. And when he cut it down, he stood upon it and said, Now, let your God come after me. That act inspired so many people to believe that, yes, there is one supreme God. Now, yes, he made the trees. He made the rivers. He made the mountains. Now perhaps that was his way of calling us into relationship with him. But that was not God. They got that message and started following. He made a lot of converts. He made a lot of converts. But the dark hearted, let me call them pagans, for lack of better words, teamed up and killed him. That's why we celebrate the martyrdom. But as we celebrate the martyrdom, it comes also to my third and final point, the Messiah. If Jesus Christ is the Messiah, if Jesus Christ is Lord, if Jesus Christ is Master, does that indemnify us against persecution, against suffering, against pain, against challenges? No. And that is why in our reading today, the first reading, Jesus, I mean, Paul is writing to his son Timothy, encouraging him, hold fast, be steadfast, stay strong to your faith. Because we are living in a world in which people will come and tell you a lot of things, in which they will say, hey, don't worry about this. Don't worry about submitting. Don't worry about Jesus Christ. Don't worry about something you cannot prove. Just hold on to this. This is what you have. No, St. Paul is saying to them, no, no, we cannot just be wishy-washy. 
you have followed my teaching my way of life my purpose my faith my patience my love my endurance and persecution if you have followed this know that because you answer christian you belong to this religion that is honor christ you will not suffer boniface gave his life because he gave his life for what he believed so what is he calling and what am i calling you to do to submit to the will of god to submit yes as we submit for to the will of god we are hoping that eventually he's going to save us and bring us salvation in the next but here and now he is going to save us from the vices of life those things that imprison us hold us captive the addictions addictions to drugs for example love of money enmity malice the dissension the inequality those things that hold us and blind us from sin goodness in others by submitting and being submissive to christ he liberates us so that we live as his children redeemed as saint paul is inviting timothy to do and boniface giving his life to liberate the germans the german people to do so too we are called here today to tolerate others and to live in peace harmony and unity until then we continue to pray and know the true identity of jesus christ is the second person of the trinity is god and he is man in the name of the father son and of the holy spirit amen Let us pray. The great love of God is proven in the life and devotion of the martyrs who give their life upon, upon whom which the church is established. We bring our prayers for the church and for our world. For our Pope, Pope Francis, the leaders of the church that lord you will grant them peace strength and renewed faith we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the leaders of nations that they will serve their people and give them the conditions necessary to live according to the will and mind of god we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for our community that it will be a sign of God's power and love in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, those who need the loving presence of God, those who are in anguish, those who are aching, that our God, infinite in majesty, will be their Lord and God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all human life, from conception to natural death, irrespective of creed or color, will be held sacred. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation in distress, that God will heal our land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the quietness of our heart, let us submit our other petitions to Him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, these are the prayers we offer you in faith. Grant them to us if they are in accordance with your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. 
heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of the Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. All the day long. Pray, my dear people of God, that your sacrifice and mine may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my, your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Amen. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, that by your grace we may set on fire and with that flame of your love, which you ignited, St. Boniface, overcome every bodily torment in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so we angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it thanks, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this, this is, is my, my body, body which will be given, given up for you. In, In a similar, similar way, way, when, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, saying Take this, take this all of you, and drink, drink from it. it. For this, For this is, is the chalice, chalice of, of my blood, blood the blood, blood of the new and eternal, eternal covenant, which, which will be poured out for you and for many, many for, the for the forgiveness of all sins. sins. Do, this Do this in memory, in memory of, of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the bishops with the religious, the laity, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with Saint Boniface, and the blessed apostles, and with all our saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ for through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our, our father Lord, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in according in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be always with you and with your spirit let us share that peace with one another peace be with you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear people of God, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ, son of david and our true god he who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed amen Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the secret mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made 
your blessed matter boniface faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through christ our lord amen thank you thank you let us say the prayer to saint michael the archangel saint michael the archangel defend us, defend us in battle, battle. Yeah, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the reins of souls. Amen. Thank you very much for participating. I wish you a blessed rest of the day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We will sing a song to our Blessed Mother, and we will sing Hail Holy Queen and Throne Above. Hail Holy Queen 29. Hail Holy Queen and Throne Above, O Maria, Hail Mother of Mercy and of Love, O Maria, triumphal ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, heaven on earth with song.